raise the profile of the forum locally. I mean, whilst we do have um, pretty good attendance at our forum meetings, and we do have an active committee of 15 people, um, you know, travel's a big place with a population of um, 10,000 odd. Um, so, you know, we feel as a, as a forum that it's important that we involve as, as many people from the community um, as we can, and as many different parts of the community as we can. So you've come to Chadwell Library today to have more an information day? Yeah, yeah, to say what we're about, um, where the forum fits, where the forums fit into Thurrock as a whole, and um, where the forum uh, fits into Chadwell and <coughs> what it can do in Chadwell. Is this going to be a one-off? No, no, this is going to be an on... Well, it's going to be for a trial period of six weeks. Um, it starts today, so it'll be every alternate Wednesday from two till four. And, well, initially every alternate Monday from five till seven, although we are looking at possibly altering that. And going back to the community forums, what are the issues that have come up in, the, in your community forum recently? Um, the Brentwood Road, because it's the gateway into Chadwell and into Thurrock in some instances, coming off of the M25 and the A13. And the Brentwood Road is in a really disgusting state. And that is one of our big things that we're doing at the moment. We also want to make the council realise that we are sick and tired of every other um, village or town in the borough coming before Chapel. Chapel has always been left out. We now want to be up there with all sit and stiffered. We don't want to be the left out, you know, the one who um, sort of get the odds and ends. We want to be a high profile part of that. And, and how do you go about that? How do you know achieve that? Hmm. Well, I think by for start, um, letting the council um, know that. Um, People of Chadwell feel that they've been fobbed off a lot in the past, um, but that there are significant issues in Chadwell. I mean, apart from the Brentwood Road, there's the problems with Orson Heath, which, OK, um, have been addressed in part, but the actual um, other issues that um, surround it, like um, what sort of play equipment should go on there, should it be um, play equipment for the young, should it be uh, play equipment for the older people that the PCT are thinking of providing, these haven't really been fully resolved yet and um, you know they asked they won't go away because for the simple reason that the people that live in that part of Chad will care about the heath and they won't let them go away um, and the question of whether the heath or part of it should have been uh, classified arbitrarily as a site of biodiversity is yet another um, can of worms shall we say um, which has a particular impact on the forum because um, we hold a fun day uh, on the north field of the heath every year, have done so, for, well this will be the fourth year. And um, we found to our amazement that um, the site had been allowed to grow to, as part of a biodiversity plan this year. Now the council have cut uh, the grass at least in two areas which hopefully will be enough to enable the um, event to go ahead. but. A little bit of consultation uh, wouldn't have gone amiss. But that, that, I guess, is the value and the power of the community forum to act as that pressure group, isn't it? Absolutely, yes. Because um, although the forum didn't, by any means, lead the campaign, that was to, uh, to um, stop the closure of Chapel Primary, and that was led very ably by the chair of governors and the chair of the PTA. But uh, the forum did provide a means by which local opinion could be focused on the issue. And didn't it? You mentioned Chadwell Primary School. Didn't that whole issue, for those of, of us from outside, really show that there is this real village and identity in Chadwell that a lot of people might underestimate? Yeah, when, when the chips are down, I think there are. I mean, particularly on an issue like that, which, um, you know, reverberates right the way across to all parts of the community, yeah. Yeah, very much so. Another thing that we want in Chadwell is something for the youth. There's no youth centre or anywhere for the young people to meet. They just hang around street corners and they need somewhere to spend their evenings. 
in the summer it's not so bad, you know, they can play cricket and football. In the winter they just hang around Tesco's and the top of the Thames Drive.